Hey guys, and welcome to the You Can't See My Face. Welcome to my first ever weekly reading vlog and what will possibly be my first ever YouTube video, which is wild. Um, so it is, I think, the last week of the Owls. It is the 20th of April. Um, and here is, here is what I'm reading so far. Um, this is my last book on my OWL's TDR. Um, and I'm about like halfway through it. I think according to Goodreads, I'm 44% through it. So that is good. Oh, there's a red blotch on my face. Um, and I'm also reading Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. I've read like two pages, but I do love a good Jane Austen. Um, and as I said, I've not read very much, so <laughs> I'm not very far into that. But um, yeah, so that is what I'm doing. I hope to finish this today and then I can move on to my TV. <laughs> you will already have seen a little snapshot of this but I just wanted to show you guys what is next on my TBR after I have finished the OWLs um, and I'm going to show you in like order of when I'm going to read them so my sort of theme as it were is chunky books because I always find them a bit intimidating I guess you know a bit, bit scary to start so first of all I'm going to read a Darkling Plain by Philip Breed. Um, I'm already I think about 10% of the way through this. Um, it's the last one in the Mortal Engines quartet and yes I don't know why I stopped reading it. I can't remember but I'm gonna finish this. And next we have the chunkiest one <laughs> which is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Um, and I'm really excited to read this. Um, it sounds amazing, and I've seen so many people talking about it. So, so I have just finished my reading, and I'm now eating um, some. I don't know what this is, but my mum brought it up to me whilst I was in this meeting, so that was fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna read Alex and Eliza. Hello, um, today is Earth Day, it is Wednesday the 22nd of April um, and last night I finished Alex and Eliza Woo. I cried. It was a really lovely book. It was lovely. I loved it. Um, so that was good. And that means I've now finished the last book. My OWL's readathon. I'm so happy. Because um, there was a point where I was like, I don't think I'm going to complete this. But I did it. Woo. <laughs> so I'm now reading Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. Um, by Mariko Tamaki and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I didn't get that much read of it last night, I read about 50 pages just because I was really tired so I didn't read that much. So I'm reading that and I'm also reading A Darkness Plane by Philip Breathe which um, I'm still not that much through but yeah I'm enjoying it so. Hello I am back, I'm wearing a dress um, and I am back. Um, I had lunch, I had a nap, got dressed, did all of that fun stuff, um, and I then sat in the garden and read a bit of A Darkling Plane, uh, which I'm really enjoying, so yeah, and then I had a little online event later, um, but after that I think I'm just gonna read in my garden because it's such a lovely sunny day, so yeah, that is my day today. So I fell asleep 
I wake up and then immediately had to jump on this thing and deliver my presentation, which was not very fun. Um, so, you know, my makeup's looking a bit smudged and all that, but it's okay. Um, I'm now gonna do some um, English and RS um, homework because I haven't done it and I need to really badly, so that's what I'm gonna do now and then hopefully I will get some more reading done, so. Hello, so um, I have finished my homework, well, I've not finished it, but I have decided that I have completed as much as I can reasonably complete in a day, so that is good. Um, I'm going to read Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me now, um, and then when my bathroom is free I'm going to have a bath, and I'm going to read A Darkling Plain by Philip Reeves, so that will be good. Um, I also just, my mum just bought me um, The Priory of the Orange Tree on Audible, which was very kind of her, so I'm going to try and find a time to listen to that, um, but I think this evening will mainly be trying to finish this and get a bit more of the way through Darkling Plain, so yeah, that's my little update for this evening. So I've just reached page 200 of Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, and oh my god, you know when you just want to punch a character, like square in the face? Yeah, it's... Oh, I don't want to spoil anything, but oh my god. There's this one character. I hate her so much. So much. Good morning. It is Thursday, the 23rd of April. Um, I finished. Laura Dean keeps breaking up with me last night. <sighs> so nice to just read a book that has like a happy ending. <laughs> Um, so that was really, really sweet, and I have English today, and then I have maths, um, but after that, I don't have anything to do, so I'm going to try and read a bit more of A Darkling Plain. I read about 100 pages of it yesterday all together, so yeah, that is very fun. Hello, so I am now dressed, and you may have noticed I've just dyed my hair. A lovely pink colour so that is nice. I'm wearing exactly the same outfit as yesterday and I'm about to head out into the garden and read more of A Darkling Play. So I'm still reading A Darkling Play. Um, I am a bit more through it now. Um, yeah I don't know. I think the thing is you kind of have these narratives running along you always have about three characters um, that you follow and I loved that in the first two books but since um, Infernal Devices I've just found it really, I don't know, tricky because I get kind of bored like halfway through, like there are some, there's always one or two narratives that I just find really boring so yeah that's not great but I am more invested in the story than I thought I would be at the start, so I guess it's going okay. So I've just rearranged my bookshelves and I thought I'd do a little a little tour. So these are my library books. These are my red library books, these are my unread ones. Um, this is my yellow shelf, mostly unread books there. And then we have this sort of blue to turquoise to um, purple one, mostly unread books there again as well, and then we have some completely random ones that didn't really fit in, just tuck those back in, and then we have these comics which were borrowed from my brother, we have a little, this was a present from my godmother, we have my Harry Potter DVDs and two little Harry Potter books and my wand, uh, we have the two Jack Nimmles and Hard covers that I kept, this is something that was gifted to me. Um, it's the History of English Literature textbook that was gifted to me. Um, most of these, all of these books were unread apart from these two. Then we have my Harry Potter shelf with this thing that I made. It's part of a social action project, I'll just cover that up. Um, so that's there. Two random books up there, some random books there. 
got some DVDs here. Um, then we have my little Martha from Doctor Who. We've got my um, Penguin Classics, the one pound ones. And then some other small short books and some more DVDs. I have a feminist book and a Quaker book. Um, and comics that I've already gotten. I've already mentioned that from my brother. Here we have some classics. I've done blue and red and then black and then two random ones. We have my white books. Most of these are unread as well. And my sort of black and dark blue books. Most of these are unread as well. And then we have my school books. This random um, hardback and my hair rollers from when I still had hair and then two hard books that are next on my TBR and then if we go all the way over here we have um <laughs> these are some makeup palettes these are all red books up to here and then these are books that I want to read um and these two are unread but the rest of them are completely read and then we have some random some more Harry Potter Doctor Who comic makeup palettes stuff like that and then i don't know if you can see through all my makeup bottles but i have some more like lemony snicket murakami um ruby redfort books and carry on and stuff like that so yeah that is my shelf tour i hope you enjoyed oh yeah i've also got that um doctor who funko pop over there of the 13th doctor because she is my baby <laughs> so yeah so, hello. I have makeup on today, that's why I look a bit um, funky. <laughs> I also have some tea that I made and then I left for about half an hour, so it's very um, lukewarm. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, last night I read um, The One Memory of Flora Banks. I started reading this in December of 2019. For whatever reason, I think I just got a bit bored of it. Um, I stopped reading this, but about halfway through. So I thought, last night I was thinking about it, and I thought, hey, I want to know what happens in The One Memory of Flora Banks. So I got this out again, and I'm about 70% of the way through now. Um, and I'm still on a darkling plane, obviously. I got no reading done of this last night. I don't know if it's just like reluctance for the series to be over or what, but I just, I can't read it for whatever reason, it's not happening. So that is those two. And then today I have an English lesson and I have sociology, um, but after that I have a whole day free. So I think I'm probably going to go on a walk because I really desperately need to. Um, and then I think also, yeah, reading and homework. So yeah, happy Friday. <laughs> Hello, I finished my English lesson and then I went out into the garden, I attempted to read but I feel really weird and shaky and nauseous so I'm having a little bit of a, a lie down now, there's my, it's my frog, um, so I'm just kind of lying down and then I'm gonna try and read more in bed now but I don't know, it's weird, um, yeah, so that's really fun. So I just got a package and it is S.E. Hinton, The Outsiders, that my friend Issy very, very kindly sent me because we're doing a book swap, so she sent it to my house. Um, so I'm really excited to read this. Issy loves it, so it's going to be very exciting. Good evening. I have just finished The One Memory of Flora Banks. I'm so glad I picked this up again. It was so emotional and, like, there was a big old twist that I did not see coming, so... That was excellent and then also whilst i was waiting for my dinner to be ready i passed the halfway point of a darkling plane so hopefully i will finish this over the weekend and then i can move on to even more books Yay! hello so i've decided this weekend to do a 24 hour readathon or just basically reading as much as i can in a weekend um which is gonna be fun i have two little essays to write but they're quite short um so that should be fine, it shouldn't distract me too much and might in fact be a welcome break. Um, so 
I'm rereading books that I loved in my childhood. I was a very bookish child. I read a lot. Um, so I'm gonna read, start off with Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, and then I'm gonna move on to Corby Flood by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. This is a lovely book. I've read this so many times. I love it so much. Um, another book I absolutely adore is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna cry at this. I can just, I can already tell. Um, and then I'm going to read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by um, JK Rowling. I don't know why I had to check for that. That's bad. Um, I love this book. And then I think those four will be all that I end up reading, but in case I do, by some miracle, move on to a fifth book, I will read Opal Plumstead by Jacqueline Wilson. So yeah, that's very fun and exciting. So yeah, and updates that I've already sort of failed, not really, um, but basically I have decided that I want to keep reading A Darkling Plane for most of this weekend because like I've not got that much left and I'm actually really enjoying it. So I'm gonna put most of my energy this morning into this. Hopefully I'll finish it this morning. Okay, yeah. so an update. I've read about four pages of this, quite bored of it. So <laughs> I'm going to break my own rule. I was like, I'm not gonna start another book till I finished one. I'm gonna put this to the side for a second and read Corby Flood. Hopefully I don't find it boring. I will be very upset if my childhood favorite book <laughs> is then boring. So, this is what I'm going to try and read next, along with bits of A Darkling Plane in between. Um, yeah. Hello, so I've just been in the garden and I've read about four chapters of this and I've read one chapter of this. My kind of reading pattern at the moment is two chapters of this and then a chapter of the moment this, but you know, whatever book I'm reading. Um, yeah, so it's going well going good. Hello, I changed my top again but I just thought I'd let you know that I'm loving Corby Flood. It's so good. I've forgotten oh, just how good is it is and has like all these cute little illustrations by Chris Riddell and I just, I love it. It's so good. I finished Corby Flood. Good morning. So from that clip last night, where I was whispering because I didn't want to wake people up, you would have seen that I finished Corby Flood. Woo! I loved it, it was so good. Um, so now I'm reading Little House in the Big Woods by Laura Ingalls Wilder and I reckon I'm about just over halfway through this so that shouldn't be too much to read. Um, I am also... So I'm writing my uh, Christianity essay but I, I'm about to, if Chrome will load, I'm about to watch Emma on Netflix Party with my friend Issaka, so I'm gonna multitask somewhat. Hello, so I finished Little House in the Big Woods. It was very nice. Um, probably not the best one to read in the sun though, just because it's a wintry book, so... Yeah. I might give up with this homework to be honest because it's just taking up time and the more I'm doing this homework the more I'm not reading um, but then I know I have to do this homework and it's due tomorrow so like I probably should do it you know hello yeah. so I'm just nipping in dropping in to do a little wrap up of this weekend I have almost finished A Darkling Plane. I think I've got about 200 pages. I'm hoping I can finish that um, this evening and tonight. Um, you'll be pleased to know that I've almost finished my um, Christianity essay. That is fabulous. Um, and I finished Corby Flood and I finished um, Little House in the Big Woods. So I think it's quite successful. I read two books and I got a big amount through a third book so yeah I'm counting it as a win um yeah I hope you enjoyed this weekly reading vlog um and yeah there'll be another one next week love you all bye <laughs>